What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 15 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition Textbook by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 15, we were talking about a particle, and we were asked a series of questions about its position, velocity, and speed. Alright, so for Part A... We're given the position equation for the particle, which is x is equal to 4 minus 12t plus 3t squared, where x is in meters and t is your time in seconds. And we're asked to find the velocity at t equals 1 second. And so what we can do is we know that velocity is equal to the derivative of displacement with respect to time. And so this is equal to the derivative of 4 minus 12t plus 3t squared with respect to t. And the derivative of that, derivative of 4 would be 0. Derivative of negative 12t is negative 12. So this is minus 12. And then the derivative of 3t squared is equal to 6t. So this is plus 6t. And now I'm just going to rearrange this and write it as 6t minus 12. And so the velocity at t equals to 1 is this equation right here with t plugged in as 1. And so we can write that out. V, where t is equal to 1, is equal to 6 times 1 minus 12. And that's going to be equal to negative 6 meters per second. So that's your final answer for part A. And so now for part B, we are asked if it is moving in the positive or negative direction of x at time t equals 1. And so we just found that our velocity is negative 6 meters per second, and since we have this negative here, that means it is moving in the negative x direction. And now for part c, we are asked to find its speed, and so what we can say is that speed is equal to the absolute value of velocity, which is equal to the absolute value of negative 6 meters per second, which is equal to 6 meters per second. And that's your final answer for part C. And now for part D, we are asked to find if the speed is increasing or decreasing at time t equals 1. And so in order to answer this part of the question, we need to determine the acceleration, which is the change in velocity with respect to time. So our acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time, which in this case is the derivative of the velocity equation we found up here, which is 6t minus 12 with respect to time, and that's going to be equal to the derivative of 6t is just 6, and the derivative of negative 12 is 0, and so our acceleration is 6 meters per second squared. And so our velocity is negative 6 meters per second, so since velocity is less than 0, and our acceleration is 6 meters per second squared, so our acceleration is greater than zero. So if our velocity is pointing in the negative x direction and our acceleration is pointed in the positive x direction, at that moment our velocity is decreasing in magnitude, which also means that our speed is decreasing. So speed is decreasing. And that's your final answer for part D. And for part E, we are asked to find if there's an instant when the velocity is zero. And this part actually ties back to part D a little bit, because as our speed here is decreasing, eventually it'll hit zero, and then our particle will proceed in the positive x direction. And so the answer to part E is yes, there is a time in which the velocity will be equal to zero, and we're also asked to find that time. And so what we can do is take this velocity equation here and simply set it equal to zero. And so what we'll do is... 6t minus 12 equals 0. We're going to add 12 to both sides, and that'll give us 6t is equal to 12, and then we'll divide both sides by 6, meaning that t is equal to 2. And that's your final answer for part E. And for our last part, part F, we're asked to find, is there any time after t equals 3 seconds where the particle is moving in the negative x direction? And so we just found that our particle momentarily stops at t equals 2 seconds. And from part 
A, we know that it was moving in the negative x direction, which means that our particle was moving in the negative x direction, it stopped, and because our acceleration is greater than zero, it then proceeds to increase velocity in the positive x direction, and since that A doesn't change, it'll always be moving in the positive x direction. So the answer to this part is no, your acceleration is greater than zero, and constant in positive x direction and at t equals 2 we switch from moving in the negative x direction to the positive x direction So for any t greater than 2, we move in the positive x direction. And that is the final answer for part f. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.